What is going on, everyone? Commodore Les here, bringing you guys my reaction slash review of Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 232. Now, the chapter is out. We are here today to read the latest installment of Akutama Gege's masterpiece provided to us by the good people over at TCB. Now, the final countdown has begun, essentially. The wheels are turning. We have a chance right now where we may see the result of who will win this fight between Sukuna versus Gojo. We have three spins left before Unlimited Void does not become the ace up the sleeve for Gojo Satoru. And right now, my guy said, don't worry about that. Because I don't need enough time on my hands to take you out. I could just do it when I need to. So it could be one of those things where the counter happens and we get the dub. Extends, we get the dub. But whatever happens here, man, the hourglass is coming down. The sand is coming down. Time is on the essence. So I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here, especially knowing the fact, you know, Kashima just kind of waiting, saying, you know, if uh, if things happen to be what they be, you know, I'm up next. If Gojo can't do it, I'm up next. So hopefully uh, if we were to get that, it won't come at the cost of Gojo being taken out. But unfortunately, if that is the case, then that's going to happen. But Anyways, let's get into the chapter. Let's see what awaits us, man. Kick off the day on the right note. There we go. So, chapter 232 of Jujutsu Kaisen. There we go. All right. So, the countdown of fate waits for no one. So, we're seeing at the top right here. Immediately, after all the speaking and stuff that we got from the last chapter and everything, and you see Sakura gets hit where I believe looks like, is it bent in like, the, like a pole or something, whatever it is? I'm pretty sure he got spun right into like a pole, as you see right there. As um, goals was like in the air, like lifting, like going towards and stuff. But it looks like maybe he's trying to get like the a back step in because I see little markings too there. So it might have been his, might have been Sukuna's, but I'm gonna say Sukuna's on the second that he's trying to like get his uh, grip back because he doesn't look, he doesn't look angry or anything. But I see markings on the face there, so he was definitely getting uh, touched up. So chapter two thirty two, the sites of battle in uninhabited demon infested Shinjuku part ten. And let me make sure also, too, that uh, we don't get duped like last time. Okay, good. So, last time we ended up missing a page. I don't know how the heck that happens, but it is what it is. There's the second spin. And it's okay. So, uh, the kanji, I'm going to just presume, is what's going to tell us whether or not it starts spinning. Because I know in the further translations, it has, like, the actual uh, the number. Like, not the number, but like the, you know what I mean. Like, the little quotations that tells you that it is. But, yeah. So, spins happens. The second spin. Two more spins. And it'll adapt to Gojo's Infinity. So, you cannot allow this to reach the final spin. Otherwise, Gojo. But then, I don't know, man. Does, does Curse Energy bloom on a battlefield? I don't know. Hurry it up, Gojo. And, okay, so Sakuna so trying to duck inside, like, the little buildings here. And you see my guy is just bulked up right there with Curse Energy on his fist. And he's smashing right through the bricks. And all the, the building parts. And is he throwing stuff at him? Or is this completely... No, it's just a destruction that's there. But I'm seeing the wheel. I'm guessing this is just based on his movements and stuff. Like from like where he was at one point. Because you see the wheels on one part here. And then he's coming right back down after. Okay, and he stands stuff after. And goals are facing right in front of him. And, and this almost feels like... If you remember in the Dragon Ball, the Vegeta versus uh, Cell fight with the you know the final flash, the first time he ever did it, which is still beast, but like you know we knew what happened after the fact, so I don't know if it's supposed to be paying a little bit of homage here, but okay, I don't think we've ever seen this before. We're seeing like there's like multiple little curse energy things, right? Uh, balls, whatever, and they're all like surrounding the um, in orbit. All around Sukuna. I don't know if it's the exact amount too. That's on the wheel as well. And it does like this inverse spin. I'm pretty sure it's what their attack that hit the building. Because then you see Sukuna's moved over to the side. And yeah, it's like homing missiles essentially. And these things are trying to hit him. And he's, bro, and the speed right there on Gojo. Like, it's, it's a lot for Sukuna right now to comprehend what is facing him. But then you see as Gojo's making the move right after from behind. He's like, damn, he's like right there. So it's like close quarters. It's so like one of those things where if you miss it by one second, it's going to be a wari dog for you, man. But you see Sakuna comes in after with an elbow. But then you also see he grabs on with the legs. I think uh, Sakuna tried to go for a kick. 
He got caught right there afterwards. He's going to go for a dragon screw. Nope. He goes and just kicks him right after. Kicks him right in the midsection. And you see, like, the blood mark and stuff, everything. So, it was a pretty heavy kick there. But it looks like the wheels... Is that the same? Hold on. Let me go up one more time. Because I want to make sure that the kanji there is the same that we saw in the first part. Because if it is, then that's another spin right there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. It looks like it is. Looks like it is. Looks like... Yeah. It definitely looks like that's the next spin, I assume. Yep. Third spin. And you're seeing the motion. The motion... See, that's what I want to see. I, I get it completely. I should be looking on that part with the kanji there. But you know what? The spin itself. Once I see a little rotation, the movement in the, the pen and stuff, then we know. Oh, boy. This is going to be very, very close, man. The third spin. One more left. Is it time that's needed for the adaptation? Or is it experience? Everyone's just like, well, oh, I see. You're asking, does it, A, take the attack once, take time to understand and then adapt, or B, adapt incrementally after taking the attack multiple times? So, gets it, takes attack, time elapses, he's fine. Takes the attack, takes the attack, adapts. So, it's more a sense of, like, you know, is it going to be, a, like, when there's that little period of, like, relaxation stuff, I assume, where, we're just, where things ease in a bit, that's when they adapt. But it, I, that, I guess that's the thing they're like usually trying to get a grip on and stuff. You know, is it adapting just for the sake of like you know the amount of repeated hits that it's taking, or just for the fact that after taking it, it just eases in as it is. So, well, considering Gojo hasn't used any technique aside from laps, which could it be? Either option is possible. That's all there is to it. And they are still wilding on. Let's see, like, there's birds and stuff. So I'm pretty sure those might be his. Or, no, 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 no. Yeah, it has to be uh, Sukuna's there with the uh, crows and stuff. But they but they were the ones that got him out of the situation, I assume, because they're facing away from him. Now I'll give him hell. I thoroughly convinced him that's all I'll use is blue. With this timing, he won't be able to react. So... Okay, so yeah, so blue's been basically with the main thing that he's been using now with the uh, the balls and stuff, so it makes more sense. So it's more so blue that he was doing there with it. Curse technique reversal, oh man. Here we go. You're gonna get the red. Oh man, oh. And look, his mark is up, but I see the eyes there in Sakuna. Please don't tell me that's another spin. Please don't tell me that's another spin. Did he get him? It looks like, hold on, I see, I see a bit of the blood, I see some damage right there, but I see some brick also being thrown. Tch. He used amplification to minimize the damage, oh my, and you see right there, his eye is like, covered completely in blood and stuff, but, again, he was able to minimize it a little bit. As expected, even if amplification can neutralize the low output of his, nat of his neutral limit list. If can fully neutralize the straight in blue or the reverse red. So it's basically, it's almost like you can't kick into like another gear essentially to get its, um, the maximum output. It's just that's, that's what it is. He misread it. At this rate, it'll adapt. Listen, man, their brains have been cooked for so long and stuff. So maybe they can throw that into the equation when Gage is explaining this stuff here. But, oh my God, man. Bro, Gojo, please find a way, dude. I know what the outcome should be for the sake of the story continuing on, but bro, like, come on, man. And you see right there on the look, such sloppiness. Lost your cool after your hand was red. And you know that red just now still hasn't exploded, bro. What, what are we doing? Is this, is this the true Gojo right here we're seeing? Was this all a faint? Come on. Oh my. <laughs> Yo! My man. Oh, he went to the sides and the explosion ring off from the back. Bro, listen. My man is a monster when it comes to facing from the front. But if you think that you have to just leave your back alone or whatever, no, man. The red from behind blasting through, and he's just like, What? God, from behind me. The building's layout. 
Did he plan from the start to have Red strike after making a full lap? Oh. Yo, we literally have the boomerang of curse energy. Literally a boomerang style, man. Oh my god, nah, bro. You've made a homie missile boomerang with red. That loot all around. Because I'm wondering too, man. We know what red is capable of. And it's not to disregard who Sukuna is and what he's capable of. But it's like you would think to yourself, man, there had to be more, right? There had surely had to be more to it. He could have just misread. This was all a part of Kekaku. That's what it was. At the end of the day, he made him feel like, you know what? He's going to think in his head he got a chance, right? His brain's cooked, right? I already know. Even though I'm personally cooked, so is he. But there is no chance right there that this is going to go anywhere against me. And very well done right there. So, yeah, he was able to loop that thing and just come back to get him when he least expected it. And Gojo immediately assumed yes. And he hooks up with that fist because he's been waiting to hit the meanest of knuckle sandwiches right across the head top of Sukuna. But he says, no, I'm going for the gut punch and just blasts him. And you see, like, out of curse energy, but I'm to some blood too. But he just blasts him. Look at his page, man. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait. Black Of course. Of course. Of course, if anyone knows it's you. Of course. Oh, no, no, man. Listen. Take notes. Get tape. Don't. Whatever it is, man. Make sure this is embedded in your mind. On the grounds that somehow, some way, goals were to lose. You have to amplify that damn black flash of yours, Yuji. Because if your goat's doing this, if your sensei's doing this, man, oh my god. But look at the racks on everyone. They're like, what the hell? And then immediately, the first thing on his mind is the black flash. That's why I'm just wondering, like, this looks so... But you would think, because we're so prone to hearing black flash being utilized, like, either by the narrator or by the character itself. And it just... Whatever we we just doing it out here, right? We're in we're in such a moment that we just gotta we gotta do it. We ain't gotta say it, we gotta do it. And my guy said, you know what? Yeah, it is a black flash. So it's one of those things where like even for all of us that are so used to waiting for the moment, this it felt like you know what? I felt like using this moment. It's like you know what? It had to be black flash. So something felt similar. But my god, his eyes, bro, his eyes in the slits are rolled back. Normal people are finished when both eyes are up. When the slits are done, bro. Oh, no, man. It, that Nah. Nah, this just changed the game right there. How do you get a Mickey to come back here, man? How are you going to do it, bro? What is inside the fun house that you have? Bro. In the Rio! It jumps! It jumps! But at the same time, bro, how are you going to get Mickey B out of there, bro? You have to pull bro out, man. Somehow, some way, dude. Uh, I should be... I want to be, like, fully happy, but I know that Gege is waiting in the corner, ready to just d d destroy me, man. But look at him, just stance up. The freaking... The ring just dropped to the ground. And he is just covered up in the blood. No shot. No shot. No, 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 no. Gang, you can't. No, don't be a rat, bro. Don't be a rat. That thing drops to the ground and it starts spinning. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. This, I, I get my hopes up. I get my hopes up. I would think there may be light at the end of the tunnel, but then there's a rat right there waiting for me saying, no light. No light, please, God. No, not like this. Not like this. I know his brain's fried, not like this. His leg gets captured with the shadow. Oh, God, here it comes, bro. Here it comes. Caught him right there. Ah! Hey, there. I'm 
No, no, I hate this author. I hate this author. I hate this author, man. Oh, please, bro. It can't be like this, bro. It can't be like this. I see two big ass hands. One of them rocking up with the blade and everything. I don't know who that is, man. That's the man who owns the fun house that Mickey lives in on weekends. Oh. It's over, bro, isn't it? It's over, man. You're kidding. Sensei. His hand got cut off. The sword that roaches upon his life. No, no, it was, it was a side. Oh, please, but you know what? He isn't gone. He isn't gone. He just took a hit. We're going to be okay, right? Let's see the chapter. Oh, my God, man. Oh. I was given hope. I was given hope, man. Oh. But it's for the sake of the story continuing. It's for the sake of the story continuing that he has to get smoked. Oh. That thing dropped to the ground. I was like, we're good. And it said, no, man, baby, blade spin, spin, spin. And then it just doesn't, bro. Oh, my God. That's the last spin, too. So it's adapting. What is Gojo going to do here to get out of the situation? I don't know. If Gojo finds a way, somehow some way to prolong this fight, even if his demise is ascertained, he finds a way to get out of the situation somehow just to keep himself just a little bit longer. I don't care. He's the greatest sorcerer this game has ever seen. Yuji could be the one to take out Sukuna, but just off the feats alone, unless Yuji were to do something God tier, like he truly becomes a true demon god, whatever, thing, right? That unmatched anything we see in this series. It's Gojo, man. But, oh my god, bro. I gave myself hope, and look what I've done to myself. Look, I gave myself hope, and this is how I get repaid after, because Gege knew. The moment I buy into a possibility that a happy ending could exist, he said, nah, man, it doesn't. So, oh my god, bro, what a chapter. And there's no break either, so next week, we'll find out whether or not that there's going to be a remontada here for Gojo, or this might be the actual end right here, and Sukuna could take the dub. This is something, man. This fight has been sensational. I don't know how you can read this and tell me that it hasn't been gassed from the moment that it started to where we are right now. This, like, it, reading it weekly has been a joy. But I already know on the reread for the Shinjuku Showdown, like, this is going to be even better and stuff. But, like, my God, man. I can't believe that we're actually, like, on the cusp, possibly, of losing our mans. The goat sensei himself. Oh, my God, man. And I, so you know, that's the thing I love when it comes to the way Gege writes chapters and draws them and depicts things here and there. Because the whole point of these last couple chapters is to note... That the very minute that that's that that wheel that starts spinning and spinning, the moment it hits the last one, it's game over truly for Gojo, and you're led to believe that every time it spins, we're getting closer and closer. You know, it's like false finishes in wrestling. You think you get the three count, it doesn't happen. You think he's about to tap out when his hand hits the ground for a, th a third time, but he somehow just he holds on and says, "No, we're not gonna do we're not gonna be done. We're not gonna be done." And as soon as you think that there's a chance that Gozo may have gotten the three count, the 2.9 kickout happens. The wheel spins for the last time, and all of a sudden, the momentum goes straight to Sukuna. And it's stuff like this that really makes me believe when it comes to the fight choreography, when it comes to, you know, illustrating a fight and showcasing it to its maximum potential. 
that Gage is already up there with among the best. For me, when it comes to the current right now, the last few years especially, he's been the best for me. And if, listen, if the Choso and Yuji play in the bathroom, back in Shibuya didn't prove that to you, and even the Mahito stuff afterwards, you know, with Toto and everything, I don't know what to tell you. Because the guy has been absolutely hooping. And it's things like this that really prove my points when it comes to that. But my God, bro, what a freaking chapter. Might be one of my, it might be my favorite of the chapters that we've gotten so far of the Shinjuku Showdown, honestly. And to think that there may be a chance that the next few could even be better. Since it's looking like we're going to be ending this, you know, the arc part of itself and then the conclusion of the fight. But, oh my God. I am, I'm very scared for Gozer right here because this is a legitimate chance that he could get smoked. But at the same time, he could pull some something crazy. And then we get hit with another reversal. So it's like, I don't know what to believe, man. If we're actually going to be done in the fight. Or if there's going to be like a third round. If there's a third round, man. Then this is going 12 rounds. I don't care. But, guys, I'm curious to know what you think down in the comments below. I want to know what everybody is thinking about this week's chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen. Let me know. As things stand right now, in the moment of time. Is it Owari Da for Gojo? Or will he get the remontada, the comeback of comebacks, to turn the tides once again on Sukuna? Let me know what we think of that down in the comments below. How do we feel about the way the Black Flash and stuff was done there? Where, you know, usually was the one kind of, like, realizing it too in the moment. That's what exactly happened. Especially <clears throat> as, like, the reader. We're kind of, like, everybody that's watching on before it happens and everything, right? How do you feel about the moment itself there? And if there's any clarifications, any input, anything you want to add about the chapter you felt was important that I didn't talk about, Please let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage. All Jujutsu Kaisen week in week out with the manga every single week. With the anime, we'll be back in a couple weeks time to kick off Shibuya and the anime. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Shandor, to stay up to date with everything goes on the channel. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Because man, one week from now we're going to find out soon. The timing just feels very close right now. Where things are right now in the manga, where things will be soon in the anime. This is going to be a very chaotic period when it comes to JJK in general. And I know Gage is going to be winning in many regards, and hopefully so will we. But if not, at least, at the very least, we can say that we experienced peak before the fall. So, Commodore last signing off. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care. Going crazy. Yeah, we go